Hey everyone, it's Joe. We're going to be taking you through the Agaloc reissues of the first three albums. Beautifully packaged, we've got Pale Folklore, The Mantle, seems to be everybody's favorite, and Ashes Against the Grain. So let's start off with Pale Folklore since that was the first album. And when we open it up, we've got two LPs here, both in lovely jackets featuring the nice winter frost on the trees, on the roots, and you can really get an idea of the headspace of John Helm during these recordings, the early recordings, vast, nice, open winter landscape, trees, plenty of snow, totally grim. Flip it over, kind of the same as the front, track listing on the back there, and let's get into these records. So the first one, again, more trees. Open it up and it comes in this lovely gold vinyl here. And we've got pictures of the band members in the center. Nice little abstract silhouette, reflective, pensive looking out the window there. And the second one, again, more trees, more frost, more cold, more grim. Another gold LP. We've got nice little deer head here, antlers. Flip it over, there's John Helm with the sword, sunglasses on, even though probably not that sunny out. Hey, you need it for the snow too, right? Can be a little blinding. And let's move on to the second one, which is going to be the mantle. Here, the album cover is a little bit different than the original. Close up of the deer, nice grayscale on everything. And on the back, a little bit of gothic architecture. Let's flip this one open. And look at that, another kind of statue with not even really sure what that head's supposed to be there. And we've got a quote from R.W. Emerson, the happiest man is who, he who learns from nature the lesson of worship. So this one tends to be, like I said, everybody's kind of favorite album from Agaloc. Gets to the back again. And just really cold, grayscale, kind of gives you the overall mood and feel of this album. And we're going to keep going with the gray theme here. And this one has a little bit of a deer sigil. And again, just kind of another architectural picture there. And we'll open up the second disc. Again, black jacket, some more architecture there in the center. Flip it over and then there's kind of another sigil with a rune on the inside there. And now we're going to get to the last one, Ashes Against the Grain. And this one's actually pretty cool because, as you'll see, it shows both album covers. We've got the nice little sketch here. White as the falling snow, black as our citadels, burned against the sky. Pretty cool. Let's open up this one. And we've got a picture of the band huddled around the fire. And some lyrics there on the inside highlighting each of the song titles. And we'll open up this one as well. And here on the center, we've got a little bit of another alternative album cover, nice marble vinyl. And on the back, a flame, maybe keeping mosquitoes away from that fire. And the second one. What's really cool about this one is that on side D, since it's not long enough to occupy that side, nice little etched emboss whole design on the back there. Now let's look at something really cool f that's on the inside of each of these albums are the booklets. So as I said we're gonna go through both different album covers here. This one for Ashes Against the Grain. So a little similar to what you would get in the CD just blown up with everything. Again pictures of the band, nice log and a fire there more band members. We'll go backwards. Let's take a look at the one from The Mantle. Again, nice little deer sigil. More shots of the band members, song lyrics. There's that cold gothic type architecture again. More pensive reflective moods. And again, that sigil. All right, and that does it for the Agaloc reissue LP set. Look at all this stuff out on the end records. And unfortunately, the band has...
disbanded recently, even though these reissues were already in the works when the band was still going. Either way, pick it up. Great collector's item. Look at all this stuff. Thanks for watching.